So strep throat is a, an, a bacterial infection in the throat and tonsils that's caused by a bacteria called group A streptococcus, or strep for short. Sore throat and fever are the most common symptoms that kids have and then a lot of times can have kind of some swelling and tenderness in the glands in the neck. Other times kids can also complain of headaches and stomach aches and sometimes kids can even have vomiting with strep throat also. For some kids um, they can get a rash with strep throat and we call that scarlet fever. It doesn't mean it's a more severe form of strep throat at all. It's just a different strain of the group A strep that releases a toxin and that causes the rash that goes with it. Strep throat is spread um, by coming in contact with someone's secretions who have strep throat. So if you're close to somebody who coughs or sneezes um, and you come in contact with any of those things or if you share food or drinks with somebody who has strep throat. Strep throat can only um, really be diagnosed with a throat swab. So because there's lots of other viruses and things that can look very similar to strep, you get a rapid result back within a couple of minutes and about 90% of the time that will tell us if somebody has strep throat or not. If the test is negative, we then send it to the lab and within one or two days we have some results back to try and capture that other 10% that do have strep and just initially had a negative test. Amoxicillin or penicillin are our first choice medications to treat strep throat. Depending on what's available in your doctor's office and your preference, sometimes you can just get a single injection like an immunization of penicillin and that would fully treat the strep throat um, rather than doing a 10-day course. It's also important once you start the antibiotics um, that you don't go to daycare or school for the first 24 hours until you've had um, a day's worth of antibiotics in your system. The biggest reason that we treat strep throat is to prevent acute rheumatic fever, which is um, an infection or disease really that can cause permanent damage to the heart valves. Thankfully we don't see it very much anymore because we've gotten a lot better at diagnosing and treating strep throat.